said like, I never felt this amount of pressure that we're doing right now. Surely that's the end of them. The groups here in Blast is a bit weird. The format is a bit weird, but uh, we start off with the BO1s and it's like done in one day. Our preparation for this day is probably like for our first opponent, because we know our first opponent is going to be pretty extensive. But after that, it's going to be really, really light. The most in-depth anti-strat or whatever preparation it's going to be for the first team. And then we're going we're gonna to look at the teams we face after. <laughs> Nej, hvor ser det fucking nice ud, det her jo. Så spiller alle fire på en gang. Alle mod alle. Det er det, der er det. Det er bare spændt og bryde efter. Åh, det håber jeg. Nej, så sidder vi her og varmer op, mens de andre står og spiller. De sidder og spiller. Vi kan jo høre deres kommunikation. Jeg tror, vi prædikterede, at de to sidste maps, og de ville have den sidste pick mellem dem. Overpass og Mirage. Given at vi beat dem, og vi har også været spillet pretty godt på Mirage lately. Vi har definitivt prædikterede en overpass, fordi vi ved, at Overpass is also one of their favorite maps. So it's nuke and overpass left? Indeed it is. We remove nuke by overpass. Yeah. Good luck, boys. Good luck, guys. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. That's very interesting. We started out playing against NIP. We were like, okay, pretty good opponent. They're a good team, but we know that we can beat them. We've done it before and we can do it again. Damn, it feels great to be back with more Counter-Strike. We've got Astralis vs <laughs> NIP coming up. I'm excited for this matchup. NIP taking on Astralis. Rez jumps across, baits out the shot. They now know the position of the AWP. And they want to put some speed behind it. <laughs> what a catch from F-Tag. You mentioned this earlier about him getting a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more confident with the AWP. Well, here it is, that third kill. Absolutely blowing up Glaive. And Config and Blame have two versus five, and not even a chance to get near the bomb site. What a wild opening. That hasn't on scope yet, so they don't even know that he's there. Oh no. Oh, missed the shot. Pistol's out instead. He spins around and hunts down Brolin. What an amazing map this has been for Farlake so far. Now Rez, 40 seconds in a one versus three. And he's gonna spin around and get that kill on Sip. Glaive is coming in. He's already low. <laughs> We start out the game and um, they're just playing much better than us. We're not really doing the things that we should and um, they're having um, some really good rounds and we're not managed to, to, to beat them at all in, in any rounds and we're losing like pretty comfortably. So um, that was a tough game. And for CT, I feel like I really feel like I'm really bad. I feel like they play really bad. I feel like we missed the first two games, so we're going to go into it. Ja, men det føler jeg ikke engang, vi gjorde det egentlig nu. Det føler jeg ikke, men jeg føler ikke, at der var særlig meget. Altså, vi snakker meget om det der med at tage ansvarsspot, så det føler jeg virkelig ikke, at vi gjorde den der kamp. Jeg føler, at du skal være bedre til, og det gjorde du også lidt til sidste kamp, hvor du kalder smoke til, og kalder flash, og ligesom siger, hvordan får du lukket dit spot, ikke? Ligesom når jeg sidder og holder korten, så kommer jeg jo til at stå og snakke om monster. I den runde der, hvor han går ind og kigger med monster, der er han næsten allerede indrøret. Jeg vil sætte mig over dille, så hører jeg så hører jeg om smoke, og han når sådan at skyde mig i løb. Altså, det Normalt set vil det ikke ske, men jeg synes, ikke, men jeg synes, nej, men jeg synes også, at vi skal være... Men det er også det, jeg prøver at sige igennem gang til. Jeg kommer til at stå rigtig meget i den her måde, og det, det er ikke nice. Nej, ja, det, det, det gør det, nice. men du kalder jo heller ikke. Du kalder jo ikke dobbelt monster. Jo, det gør jeg så mange gange, det er den kamp der. Nej, det gør jeg fandme ikke. Den runde, hvor du kalder det, der kører vi det. The things I said to Zip after the game, I would never say to him, if we didn't have to play right after. If we didn't have the possibility to meet Nip, uh, right after the next game and stuff, because at that point you have to do it immediately. And you have to come out with your frustration, you have to tell the guys what you're feeling, tell Sip what you're feeling, what can, can we do different on this specific map, on this specific position. And when you're holding spots together, honesty is really important, but it's also about knowing your teammates, because your teammates are different. So let's say, I can say this to Sip, but also know that it's not everyone I can say it like that to. Zip, I know he can take it. He wants to know it immediately. He wants to know the facts. What do you think? What can I do better and stuff? So it's about knowing your team as well and how you want to, to explain it to them. Uh, and so feel also, let's just focus on that we still have one in the group. We've lost this game. If we win over OG, then we can maybe win again. Or we tell them, and if we lose them, then we can win in the group. So it's fucking like that. That game we lost before is the most useless. Now it's the game. 
Nu vi skal fucking skal der vinde. Vi tager det seriøst nu. Lad os tage det seriøst nu, føler jeg. Ja, men så lad os gøre det. Altid køre tre sekunder. Når man lader mener, at man ikke skulle kunne have kærlighed til det. Nu bliver jeg gerne med det. Ja, men jeg skal jo også sige, at så må vi jo se, hvis du føler ud af snart, så må vi se, hvordan det bliver. Vi havde en rigtig rustig start, som vi altid gør i Australien. Så... Back to basics. They start to fall back the other direction. Dexter over towards CT holds on with one. Farley winning that kill towards Cat though pushes these last two CTs into a very problematic spot. Farley breathing down their necks. The equation still leans the way of OG. Carry the X. Oh, right as the smoke goes down. That leaves us asking why Glaive. He gets himself into this gunfight. Glaive ready, trying to find his chance to strike. Confirms that Plopsky's here in the oh, open. Yeah. And that's two from Glaive. Wow. Pistols, majority win. Trio of defenders and backs turned. Blame just lets it loose. Three kills with the Berettas. And an instant clampdown on this beat. Rolling fake plant fights at a distance. And that is the 16-9. A delicious taste of revenge for Astralis. Han er jo helt væk ham der. Ja, det er det. Vi går op og så siger vi bare, vi banner. En for største vælger, vi vælger sidst nok. Og så går vi bare. Så vælger vi bare tre streg, og så smutter vi bare. Bare for at vise, at vi kan spille alle fire. Og det er vi ligeglade. Det er ikke bare sådan statistisk dumt, det der. Jo, statistisk dumt. Det er jo selvfølgelig kommet ikke til at gøre det, men overvej, hvor stor den win, du får på sejhed. Det kan vi selvfølgelig ikke. Jeg vil generelt kunne være kvælde til alene med mod flere, eller spille bare... Nej, lidt omkring, vi skal også afspille. Vi skal også afspille. 3, 2, 1... Jeg kræver min boss! Sejr! Kom! And so here we go, folks. It is time for the last best of one of the day. The last best of one of Group A. And sure enough, it's Astralis. Running it all the way back. If they can, of course, topple Vitality here on Mirage. We're really going fast. Yeah, very quick. We're starting to push up. Look at that. Catches Config off guard. Oh, but Zipix! Gets both those cap players down, a third trio of kills from inside this B site. A dink into Sphinx with the pistol, and Zipix has done all the damage he needs. He turns it back to Cat, oh. gets himself a fourth versus Apex, and he hunts that ace, but Sphinx denies it. A double, and almost... Oh. Let's go. Farley to move over towards Market, so, I mean, he's been impactful multiple times towards OT. He's getting two Ks and he's gonna deliver again. Okay. From a 4v5 oh, okay. to a 4v1. Zywoo's got an answer, but Config's got the close. And Astralis from 0-1 at the start of the day to a Zipix top frag on Mirage. Being able to, to finally beat Vitality felt really good because we haven't been beating them for quite some time. And you know, the rivalry between uh, our old teammates and my old, uh, my old coach uh, was uh, was really nice We have the possibility of qualifying for the fall finals and we have to beat OG. But OG, they just beat FaZe Clan. So we know they are really strong at the moment, they're doing really good. Um, but we feel like, okay, we're able to beat them because we beat them last time as well in the best of one. This time we're playing best of three. But they're actually playing really solid, I think. They're playing really good CS. They have really high individual skill and that's why they were also able to beat FaZe. And we could feel it when we played against them. I think that's why we lost 2-0. Did some mistakes here and there. Um, but they had some sick rounds as well, and they were just better than us. Nice. What a pick. <laughs> nice smile, bro. Face is good content. <laughs> That's good content. Now we just need an admin. He's on his way. Yeah, we will choose the final map. Uh, is anybody choosing side? It's the same feat as before for the best of freeze. Yeah, but we play two tournaments, so we don't know what the fuck we're doing. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it is a new day, the final day in fact, and we've got our first best of three coming up. Uh, winner goes to Royal Arena, loser goes to the Blast Showdown.
Let's see how they pull this off. This was a two on five. Oh, <laughs> it starts with a headshot. Glaive goes down, Rob's re-peeking from the coffins to take down Config, and Sip is on his own. <laughs> That's a disgusting recovery. Nice to see them make it work. Rob's there. Oh, it's so beautiful. He lined it up, you can see it coming. Previous round, Rain gonna try and pick up the pieces. He's got the first of three. Transitioning over towards the A-bomb site. Molotov holds him at bay. Doesn't want to go for the long rotation through Temple. He does have a kit. Yes, he does, and they're both in Donut. It's very hard to take this fight, although he really almost wins it against Farlik. That would have been huge if he could have turned it into a one-on-one. -on -one. Up on the box, and Farlik, a little bit too open, goes straight for the bomb defuse here, not faking oh, no. it. Simp doesn't realize, and he's going to get the defuse yeah, like right in In those one versus X situations, and where face maybe are alone, or they are two versus four or something, we have the upper hand in the round, we should be able to take the round home. I'm not sure if people were afraid like of, of taking the duels and stuff, taking the right duels, playing a bit too passive. Um, so, but I also could feel like that sometimes that we were a bit tired because of all the games we have been playing, the amount of pressure that has been on us from the IMR, also from the blast and stuff. So um, I feel like people were a bit tired. Oh, don't do it. They don't, there's not even deagles. Come on. There's no way. All right, here's the flank. That's it. That's what we needed. Twist on his own. One versus three. And he's already got two headshots to bring it into a one-on-one. -on -one. He's looking for it. Farlik is closing the door. Hiding. Oh, no. It's going to be a bomb hunt at the minimum. And he's got all the health in the world. Finally against Twist. But he gets caught. Nearly already taken down. He's got that pistol out now. Oh, no. It's another clutch. Twist with the quad. And he steals it back. I see it. it. Hele dokkel har syb. Vent. Hoppe vent. Jeg løber, jeg løber. Kom, jeg løber også. Jeg kommer til at køre på ham, mens den er. Okay. Sæt, 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 sæt. Jeg flasher, flasher. Løber. Oh my god, Roki! You must be kidding me! That, that one versus four was really tough for us. Let me be honest. That was not fun. That was not, that was not, okay, let's go boys, let's take the next round. That was not at all like that. When you look back, it should have been like that because we could still have won the game. Um, but we, we also, we took, a, we took a tactical timer to talk things through, um, as far as I remember. But people were, people were mad after that one versus four. Everybody was like, how did we just lose that round? So we're going to play the Blast Showdown and we're going to give everything we have to be able to play the, the Blast Fall Finals because of course we want to do it um, and we want to have the opportunity to play in front of the Danish crowd in Royal Arena. Uh, we know this; it's a long road but uh, we're giving everything we have and uh, hopefully it's enough.